Okay, hello everyone. Today we're gonna make a recipe. We're gonna make some salt dough. So here's the stuff that you're gonna need. You're gonna need two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and three quarters to one cup of water. So you're also gonna need a bowl and a spoon or a fork or something to mix it with. And that's everything. So first thing you're gonna do, I already have the flour measured out. We are going to put the flour into the bowl. Thank you very much, Riley. Riley is my daughter, she's helped me out. Because we're working together, I guess, hey Riley? Mm -hmm. After you have your two cups of flour, you're gonna mix that in with one cup of salt. So here's the one cup. Here's the salt, I'll hold the measuring cup for you, okay? Okay. It's always good if you do it over top of the bowl, that way if you spill a little bit, it lands in the bowl, not all over the table, which is helpful. Makes a nice sound when it comes out of there, doesn't it? It's a lot of salt, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Oh, perfect. Now when you are measuring something, you kind of want to try and keep the top as level or as flat as you can. Okay, can we dump it in? You want to do that? So now, you're going to mix those things together the best you can. And then you're going to slowly start to add your water in, just a little bit at a time. If it's, salt dough is very forgiving. If, you, if it's too sticky, add a little bit more flour. If it's too um, dry, add a little bit more water. This is just water in a water bottle. So we're going to slowly add it in. So I'm going to make it three quarters of a cup. Are you going to pour? Okay, just to the line. That's it, perfect. Okay, we're gonna just do a little bit at a time and then we're gonna mix it. And then when you're done, you're gonna roll it out or flatten it out kind of like you would with Play-Doh. And you wanna keep it about a quarter of an inch thick. So probably about like that thick or so. Um, and then you can put it on parchment paper or you, you might wanna use cookie cutters to cut, um, cut out shapes, do a handprint or a footprint. And then you can um, put it onto a baking sheet on top of parchment paper and cook it at 200 degrees for about 30 minutes. Then when it comes out, you can paint it or do whatever you like to it and ha use it in your house. You could, If you put a little hole in it, you could hang it up on something like an ornament or you could just have it as like a paperweight or just something to like look at. So have fun.